Hi, welcome to a new series of videos that will bring you news and best practices for action on Google. I'm Ido Green, a developer advocate for actions on Google. I love to help entrepreneurs and developers to be more productive. And in this video, we are going to learn how to make sure your apps for the Google Assistant will pass the review process, OK? After you design conversation and develop apps, you're probably ready to share them with users. Before you make your app available to the Google Assistant users, let's see how to prepare for deployment. When you submit your app for approval, Google tests and verify that they meet the minimal sets of launch requirements before publishing them to users. Let's focus on the top three pitfall you need to avoid in order to pass the review process. One, incomplete store listing data. Two, naming, directory listing, and pronunciation. Three, no response and no lead. Let's dive into each of these issues and see how you could get your apps through the review process for the first time. Incomplete store listing data when submitting for review. You can see in the image on the right, what are the top missing parts? It's the app name, pronunciation, picking a name, with a recognizable pronunciation is critical. Invocation, how the user will call your app. For example, OK, Google, talk to Bitcoin Info. Please make sure that the images are in high quality and that the app description is accurate. The large banner image should be 1920 by 1080, and the small square should be 192 by 192. Another important part is your privacy policy. We frequently see example.com for the privacy policy, which of course is not good. It must be a public on the web and related to your app. If you don't have a website, you can create one for free with Google Sites or other services. Here is one that I've created for our assistant app, Bitcoin Info, naming, directory listing, and pronunciation. All apps must have a unique name that will allow users to trigger the app functionality. Your directory listing must have at least one sample of invocation, all of which must include your app name. For example, talk to Bitcoin info, which consistently trigger your app. Few important things to remember about names. One word names are not allowed unless the name is unique to your brand or trademark. An app name uniquely identifies your app so it must distinguish itself from other apps and for features of the assistant. You should avoid a very common phrases like, thank you, good evening, or oh my god. And don't use generic words or phrases such as categories of product, services, or content. For example, travel or sport. Think of it this way. If your name can describe a category of apps rather than a specific function, change it to be more specific. Some words and phrases are reserved and cannot be used in names including OK, Google, Volume, App, Down, Game, Bot, Action, and App. For example, Talk to Bitcoin Info is a good one because it's specific enough. And Talk to Bitcoin or Talk to Cryptocurrency is not good because it's describing a category and not a specific action. You could test your name in Actions on Google Console to confirm it doesn't use a reserve word or a phrase. Also, double check that your display and invocation name match. This doesn't mean that they match verbatim, but rather match in pronunciation. This invocation name is what actually listened for by the assistant. Always respond and lead. Don't leave the mic open without an audio cue. You want to give the user an easy way to move forward with the conversation and reach their goal. That was it. Good luck. You could read more about our review process in the links below. Thanks for watching. We love your feedback, so please don't be a stranger and leave us comments below. Until next time, be strong and create amazing apps. <laughs>